Sometimes a song, movie, or smell can take you back to a place of good times and great memories. That feeling of nostalgia is something our next guest knows pretty well. That's right. He's the author, uh, not 50 Shades, but 50 Faves <laughs> of the 60s, 70s, and 80s, which takes us readers on a little walk down memory lane. Joining us now is Fred Del Bianco Jr. Welcome. Nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, you're, you're from Bridgeport, right? Yes. Grew up uh, in Trumbull, born in Bridgeport, um, actually the day after Christmas in 1963, mm -hmm. born in Bridgeport Hospital. Okay. So, Fred, where, where did this nostalgia start? you have a memory that stands well, out? Well, I trace it back to when I uh, was in junior high school and at age 12, and uh, I started going to the library um, looking through periodicals, back issues of National Geographic. And, uh, but I, I looked through the product advertisements of, of the 60s and you know, the early, middle, and late 60s and noticing how the changes in, in graphic design and logos intrigued me. And, um, and I thought to myself, what a great decade of change this is already. And at age 12, I, I was thinking this uh, in my mind. Now, Fred, do you think that our generation now, the uh, early 2000s, do you think people will ever look back and possibly write a book about today? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there will be more changes to come, obviously, and uh, we'll look at you know, the smartphone era as being, wow, like this is what we had back then. But it still has sort of a, is, a different twist. Like, I, I feel like today isn't quite nostalgic. It's more, uh, there, there's a lot of advancement, but those days were, were different and they were unique in the sense of some of the things that you cover in your book. It might be, though, looking back at 30 years from now. They'll be you like, CT know. style, that was pretty nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of separate the book into decades. Is that how it works? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the 60s, 70s, and 80s, obviously, um, which are the decades I grew up, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a particular affinity to the 60s, uh, such a dynamic decade of change. And, uh, and the, the degree of change was so accelerated that it was just really uh, remarkable. Mm. Um, a colorful decade, turbulent, uh, that was a commonly used word, uh, the Vietnam War, um, television changed from black and white to color, the music was so profoundly different uh, from what we had been listening to in the earlier part of the decade and even the 50s and 40s, and uh, it's just an exciting, exciting time. A lot of it I don't remember, but looking, <laughs> you know, maybe at for different reasons, three and course, four, right? but I do remember some of the music that was just coming out, like the Monkees mm -hmm. and, um, of course, the Beatles. And, sure. uh, and some of the movies are on the theaters. And uh, in my research and subsequent years, I, I, I noticed that the, uh, the, the cinematography changed so dramatically as well. So really, a lot of changes in the entertainment field, um, hairstyles, clothes, uh, you name it. All right. It's really where the beginning of the age of modernism began. Well, it's, it's interesting because, uh, Teresa, of course, we are, uh, you know, experts in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I don't know about that, but no? Fred, you do have some trivia for us, right? Well, I happen to have a list of questions here okay. that I will post to you. And, uh, you ready to lose? I don't think they're terribly, <laughs> terribly difficult. Uh, All right, Fred, here we go. A little trivia. First one. Um, satellite TV was introduced in this decade. Mm, no. The, the, the 60s. No, satellite TV. Like, you're talking about... Satellite television, yes. Yeah. The 1960s? Or? Yes. Oh, Indeed. I thought we were talking about fancy, like, DVR TV. No, no. that's <laughs> one point for me, Teresa. The first satellite... I didn't know we were talking about color TV. Yeah, duh, hello. <laughs> the first satellite television signal was transmitted in 1962. Okay. Very good. From uh, Europe to North America using the Telstar satellite. All right. Awesome. All right. Next question. Next question. The Beatles released their album, Let It Be, in what decade? 1970s. 70s. That is correct. Uh, May 8th, 1970. Can we split a half a point there? Exact. <laughs> and next question. Uh, disposable cameras were invented in which decade? 80s. That is correct. Oh, Fuji okay. Film came out within 1986. And Apple launched the Macintosh computer. The 80s. Correct. Oh, run roll. That was All right, easy, we right? have one more question. This is for the win, Teresa. And this so is there's for a lot the of grand prize. Uh, Post-it notes were introduced in which decade? 70s. That is correct. The <sighs> Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Come on. <laughs> you know that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, God. I'm, come I'm on, just saying. Ryan. Hey, I'm, I'm a younger guy. What can I say? In fact, the 3M company came out with it in 1977. Mm. Very good. There well, Fred, go. thanks so much for being here. Where can we find your book? Um, it's available on uh, Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com through the uh, publisher bookstore at AuthorHouse.com and through most online book retailers. Very good. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, Fred. Thanks so much.